Good kitten internet. Meow. Yeah. Uh, we're heading back into Starfield. Once I launch the game. <laughs> uh, probably past this, once I'm sure that things are actually working properly, I'll cut out the opening part while I'm launching. Or just start recording after. I just don't want to alt-tab when it's this crash-happy. I mean, can you blame me? No. Did you? But Enoch. Where we last left off, um, plot happened. Yes, we're supposed to get that artifact to Constellation. Board that ship. <laughs> yep. Along with Vasco. Who is our friend. Yes. And the ship's a rental, but it's our ship temporarily. It appears you are the new captain of the frontier. You know, I don't think I was captain of a ship this fast in any other game. Other than, yes, like, the lead. captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Sure, I totally know where that's at. Hatch? not nailed down. I have no idea what anything does. Of course I'm going to take stuff. Guineas, you were behaving really well before. I would like you to continue behaving. That's the navigation console. Ooh. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances. In short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. <laughs> hey. By the way, if you're wondering why we look different, I swapped cameras after my phone decided to... I'm guessing it's disconnecting from Wi-Fi. Because the Wi-Fi signal in here is... awful? Cooking station! I can make nothing. I can't even make a grilled cheese, which just requires bread and cheese. If you add ham, it's ham and cheese. You need to meat ham. And it adds... Oxygen? Ooh, distilled water. It's water in a, through a membrane. That makes sense. Alien tea, on the other hand, is distilled water and fiber. Alien scramble. Alien sandwich. Nutrient and bread. Great. An alien jerky. Okay. Maybe we get more recipes later. I would assume so. Given that there's a coffee bag sitting here mm -hmm. that's labeled as this is, can be used as a component in crafting. Gummy bugs! Chicken. Oh. We have a steeper. ramen coffee grinder or could be spice grinder I suppose <laughs> and for reference for those who might be keeping track I have finished editing the previous episode already I can sit oh 
long sitting animation. I have the ability to wait. Ah. You don't, you don't want to wait because then you'll have less time until your next mortgage payment. They keep track of local time and universal time. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Ah, neat. And no, I wasn't planning on waiting. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Also, I don't need the stupid helmet on right now. Probably not, no. I'm going to keep it on anyway because I don't know what I'm doing. Zone. I'm so glad they're actually behaving for the most part today. Most part, keyword. They're just immediately off camera for reference. Isin's just trying to get back to his corner, and Zone is trying to wander. Is that just tired? Huh? Where? Oh. Chunk's cap. Okay. Vacuum tape. Ah, there must be more that, personal slates. Yeah, there must be a number two. Let's find number two first. Don't use... Uh, it's broken. Yes. I'm still grabbing it. Nightwear. Baseball. Oh, wow. That was worth a lot, actually. Yeah, it was from Earth. Yep. Old Earth. Mm-hmm. To me, that indicates that there's a new Earth then, right? Maybe. Okay, so we've only found one slate. One and three, I should say. So there must be a slate number two lying around, maybe? Yeah, and it's got to be in here somewhere, right? Although, it could just be, like... A wrench? Excuse me, hydraulic clamp? Maybe it's in the cockpit? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just concerned about her green plot. Yeah. Not quite safe here. I'm sure there's a button for quick save. I will look that up some other time. It's usually F5. Package chunks of apple. My favorite. Okay, I haven't triggered it yet. Let's just read the paper. Maybe it talks about the accidental destruction of Slate 2. Barrett seems like quite the goofball of just, you know, everything will work out fine, and, you know, it'll be fine. Just borrowing the ship for a while, forever. Research Lab lets you develop new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. Materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life. To manufactured components that can be made in an industrial workbench. So we can research pharmacology, food and drink, outpost development, equipment, and weaponry. Performance enhancements. Zone, please do not go after your brother. Old Earth Cuisine. Meatloaf. That's meatloaf. But we're missing all of the materials for this. And for everything else. My zone. I don't know if you're visible on camera right now or not. Totally visible now. Yes. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. There's a lot of things. Ah, weapon mods. It is borrowing from Fallout 4. And some of these require skill, mm -hmm. which makes sense. Zone, please do not go after your brother. 
did I say? So it looks like there's not really anything we can research. Yeah, we're missing everything. We'll just go with everything. I'm still confused as to where that other slate is. Come see. Another way to wait. Got it. In order to get out of the jump seat, you move. Okay, out of the jump seat. I think it's time to just leave. Unless yeah. if I can find that other slate really fast. Not like hidden back here or somewhere. But, oh, we haven't looked at the navigation console. So this is the moon that we're on. Vectera moon of Ancelon. That is presumably Ancelon. Um, I would kind of like to be able to see. Local survey. I'm sure we'll have a tutorial on that later. The sandwich. White bread, lettuce, meat, cheese, and multi-meat. But it might be missing some chunks. Seems to be really obsessed over chunks. Okay, okay. Ah, cutlery. Of course. I actually mean to do that. This definitely looks like an airline gallery. But not from a modern airline, from like one from the 90s. Alright, this is supposed to be easy, right? Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Why did it say shields yeah, that's online when it said that? Well, maybe you can't use shields in atmosphere. Ooh. Yeah, but that, uh, that moon didn't have an atmosphere. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and then be on our way. Left Alt and use WASP to switch between systems and allocate power. I do not want to skip the tutorial in this case, thank you very much. Not this time. Yes. I don't need weaponry right now. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. No. I have no idea what I am doing. E to target the ship. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. What? What are you doing? Why are you getting out of the ship? If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can log in to fire a homing missile. And now our shields are offline. Yeah. Is that you, Barry? Give up that loot! It's cheap. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Ah, I have ballistic weaponry too. 
Congratulations on surviving your first search and assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. How do I slow down? Apparently not that close. Okay. Just getting an idea on the HUD to see what's going on. That is... How do I slow down? Freaking hell! You're not giving me a chance to actually do things. Press O to repair. Why is it on that side of the keyboard? Uh, is it zero? A zero. So, I'm really confused right now. Is the letter O? It's not holding down the key or anything. I'm gonna crash, aren't I? I know the tutorial is taking it easy on me, but, um... If this is taking it easy on us... Well, it's because everything's going really fast for a tutorial in my mind. Trying to grab the loot and then figure out how the hell to repair my damn ship. Okay, that is repairing. Good. I know the ship is effectively a fast travel system. Where you're not really meant to go between worlds manually, you're meant to fast travel. Because I remember reading about somebody in the Earth system, it took them seven hours to get to Pluto. Which seems like a reasonable amount to me, but... Yeah, where in space are we compared to the solar system? Excellent question. Okay. I don't care about resources right now. Missions. Help. Let me 
Ja, na. Sure. Okay, well, at least I have a way of seeing all of the worlds in this system. I like the gravity well visualization. Nira. Make a save here? Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, a real save? Oh, this is apparently shit. Or a real save. Okay. So, this is the ship that we have. We have a dragon pulse laser, a Mahler cannon, an Atalatl missile launcher. So, looks like it is possible to upgrade individual pieces of your ship, mm -hmm. which makes sense. I was told about the ship building is the equivalent of house building. Okay. So we probably would need a dream home work paying the mortgage for... We'll just live on a ship. Yeah. A ship that's not ours. Okay. Rotate the planet until the research lab is in view, then select the map icon. Land. I guess I'm gonna do that, because I don't really have any other choice. So I was told that the loading screens are excessively long in this game. That doesn't seem excessively long to me. No, I'm very tight to do that. Where are my subtitles? Yeah, where did they go? I have no idea. I only heard Captain. I heard Land Captain. Presumably, this is where I start shooting things. I'm better at that, usually. Can you open the closet door? Aha! Watch. Oh, it's the bathroom. There's personal slate, too. Oh! Of course. Well, hey there, irate pirates. Looks like you finally did it. <laughs> Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot. Rip those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face. And then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing except my ghost. I am gonna haunt your asses till the end of your days. Which, for a Crimson Fleet pirate, is about what? Uh, another week? <laughs> I like him. Also, toilets exist. Can you You can sit. I can sit on it. Good job. <laughs> this is not a viewpoint I particularly like. Yes, I can sit on the toilet, but I cannot use the toilet. Okay. Well, we at least found the data slate. It was in the bathroom. Of course it was. Captain, protocol indigo. 
dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. I will keep your items safe, Captain. You have laser cartridges. And that's it. Good to know. Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Yeah, that's pretty small. Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. I really like Vasco's cadence. Very robotic. I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times, and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. How tall, high can you jump on this world? Higher. They are keeping gravity into account. Holy crap, that is a really high jump. <laughs> and it uses a CO2 meter, which I'm assuming is the equivalent of an energy meter. Yep. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Do I have a map of this area? There's a B. Unknown. Let's check out unknown yep. first. <laughs> oh, that's how I zoom out. Well, I'll, ah, full. Not that far away at all. No. Okay. Oh, that's just showing where I'm at. That's fine. I mostly just wanted to see where Soul was, but yeah, we're else. we're like it. Um... Oh, what was it? Epsilon Edidon? Yeah, somewhere in that general area. Um, give me that map. Can I... Oh, there's multiple unknowns. Of course there are. Um, can I put down a flag? Because I want to go to the unknown. Mm -hmm. Well, you're heading in that general direction, so just keep going. I will try to... Be mindful of, you know, oxygen and such. Assuming fall damage is probably related to gravity. Mm -hmm. I would hope so, at least. I'm just wanting to see what this is. Maybe time to switch to your mining laser? Oh. Ah, it's a gas vent. Okay. Weapons. I'm assuming that there's a quicker way than going into mm -hmm. the menu. Maybe I'll we'll see them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's a favorite. That looks remarkably like Fallout 4. Yep, 1 through 3, through 9, uh, 4 through 6, 7 through 9, then 0. Left and 
right square bracket? Nice, we have more hotkeys. Axe is going to do more damage, but it has no range, of course. I want to try this one. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data for the planet. And you sell survey data for money. Got it. I need to get a little closer. Ah, that's the unknown. That looks like a ruin. It does. At this range. Oh, what are you? The struids. You don't shoot it. It's a plant. Ah, that's how I scan. Yes, you need to scan. And I also gained to the item. Right, so how close do I need to get to scan that? Ah. It shows resources. Oh, Basco caught up with me. The structure. Mm hmm. We can probably cut more when we get closer, but. Yeah. Uh, should you finish scanning the. Uh... Okay. Then scanning the duster. Ah, uh, it's spread out. I cannot scan any further. I'm guessing I have to scan multiple dust roots. Okay. I'm. Um, it's a guess. I don't actually know. No, I do not wish to fast travel. Useful. Seems like it would be. Lead is generally useful too. Let's go. Oh, there's a robotics menu at some point. Can't do anything right now with it, but okay. So do I use the mining laser on the root? It doesn't look like it. about mining laser on lead. I'm guessing this is might be a little too big of a piece of lead for my mining laser. Let's not overcharge it. know what to do with these vents. I am getting more surveying done. It's good. That actually hurt me. Aha. Hazardous weather, sandstorm. Now it's 25% scanned, so it is repeated scans. That's a ship that's landing. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are those? They look almost organic. Us structures, it looks like. Ah, uh, those are organic.
You can get fiber from yeah. the district. You need that for crafting. I got fiber from it the first time I picked it up. Oh, you did? Yes. <laughs> it is used to make alien tea, among other things. <clears throat> Natural object is the other one. Silver! Going over to silver. So much for adhering to purple indigo. Yeah, well, they should know better. Besides, it's Vasco's orders to adhere to protocol and yep, go. Not mine. So they're found in volcanic biomes, which this is definitely volcanic looking. air quality from the sandstorm. I know it's double helix carbon based. Yep. Am I same as us? It's an animal. Yes it is, and it's hostile-ish. Gonna go into sneak mode. What's that beeping? It's the stealth thing. Mm. Can you scan it from this distance, or no. would you need to get closer? I have to get... It's labeled as robotics. That's a robot, not an alien life form. Huh. Weird. Lung damage. From what? Is it the sandstorm? Probably. So I guess you're not in a self-contained system, but it's taking in the air? Has to be, because otherwise this doesn't make sense. It's just supplementing. Yeah. That chunk is too big. Yeah, I think it might be right. Yep, I'm just going to call it too big. Probably get a better mining laser later. I'm assuming. Because this laser kind of sucks. Yeah, it does. It's biome complete. I finished one of them. It's self cloning. Mm. Okay. I run. to get out of the sandstorm. Although this might have people in it. How tall I jumped. So F5, we thinking for quick save? <laughs> I have a cough. Yep, I'm being attacked. Cover. 
Vasco, why are you... Switch to a better weapon and try to attack the turrets. If that's what they are. That's level 5. The enemy is here. Please avoid getting shot. Can I tell you to get back? What I was trying to do. Why are you going out there? Okay, thank you. Yeah, just run away. And find out if they're hostile or not. Can you no. Can it from here? I have a cough. Yes, I can. You have scanned one. Yep. Okay, so that's obviously a higher level area. Back, I want to scan you because you're not actually hostile. Oh, that kind of is already being scanned. Oh, there are multiple varieties. That's higher level. F5 is quick save, as we yes, expected. Yes, uh, is Vasco operational? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Well, I'm suspecting it works like Fallout and Skyrim, where as long as you're not the one killing them, they will revive themselves. Temperament is wary. Which Skulling means... crossbones because of... Ah. Uh, being dangerous. Yes. To a level one. But I scanned it. Mm-hmm. Is doing some threat display. Yep, which is why I'm backing off. Okay, that's good to know that they kept that up. <coughs> I gotta get out of the sandstorm. Antimicrobial. Uh, the new. Oh. Oh, uh, um. Yeah, I'm Another successful fight. You have footage. Editive and fiber. What am I being attacked? Oh, they're now just going after everything. Cool. Yep, this is going well. I have no idea where I am, by the way. Oh, and you only have half a clip of, of spare ammo. Yes. Which is why I went, I need to not be here anymore. If you need to switch to melee. Yeah, maybe. Oh, this is slow. Oh, and the weapon has durability. Hmm. So there's supposed to be one more resource here.
must have already gotten that one. Okay. Hello, Vasco. While I am programmed for combat, it is not my primary function. Commencing item exchange protocols. The same amount that they had before. That's the part I wanted yeah. to check. Okay. So, what have we learned? We have learned that breathing in hostile gases is bad. You're running yourself off the breath. Back at the ship again, which is generally where I thought we were. Just swallowed my tea wrong, maybe. Mm. Seeing if rest helps with the stats effects. Mm. Protection regen. Status for, for help. Prognosis poor. So how do I fix that? This is one of those situations where I need to find a medic, mm -hmm. isn't it? This goes really slow. Yeah, that could go a little fast. Yeah. I awaken feeling well rested. I definitely still have lung damage. Why do I have lung damage though? I have a helmet. I don't understand. Ah, it's nighttime now. Perfect. Trailer bites. Ooh. Can't hold on. They are wary. So they should be. Bye bye, trailer bites. And another Crete stalker. Iron. That's not what I wanted to do. Although the mining glacier does seem to have unlimited ammo, so. Yeah. Also a terrible weapon. Oh, well, there's also the ants. Alien are often mm -hmm. unpredictable. So they do have different temperaments. Defensive means all I have to do is not get near you and you're probably fine. Ooh, a cave. Or it's more like an arch. Yeah. But it has the last Yes. It's the character that has lung damage, not you. Maybe this one's too big. I was hoping I'd have more information about the cough. 
No, the the thing is, you just get out of breath and have a humongous penalty to stealth once in a while. Yeah. Because you have a cop. I'm not in survival mode, am I? Everything is survival mode. You and I are living in survival mode. Yeah, this is true. It's just that we are in a part of the game where things aren't all that dangerous. How's your car our carrying capacity? Um, let's see, inventory. 86 out of 145. And we have 74 credits to our name. How much was it for the Federation of Smaller Independent Morgan? Pilot Crews? All flying under the We don't know. Weather. Wasn't it 1,125? Well, the entire mortgage was in the hundreds of thousands. It, it didn't say the entire thing. It just said weekly payments of... Oh, I interpreted that as that was your mortgage. Because we are nowhere near. That was definitely in the 100,000 range. Okay, this place looks interesting. Too bad I have a cough. 